all right hey y'all i'm here i'm back with another review i am so sorry y'all for like my power has been out for the past i don't know like it was like 17 18 hours probably longer than that it just came back on not that long ago so i had to do a whole bunch of other shit i tried to do my live stream for the bow wow versus soldier boy part two couldn't do that because the internet wasn't working but now here we are let's get to it so cartel crew season three episode four now the best part about it actually that i just realized is okay so Allie is in this episode which is um nicole's best friend okay now that's actually like i said it's kind of ironic so the episode where they got into that fight stephanie cat and Ally, that was season two episode four which is literally i think my third most watched video like that i have on youtube i'm you know on youtube so if y'all guys want to go back and watch that i'm not gonna really get into my feelings about how i feel about Ally too deep because on that video i kind of went in and told y'all how i felt about that situation and what she did i'll touch on it a little bit but yeah go back season two episode four review so all right so we start off with betty okay and she's talking to Yvette now if y'all remember Yvette was Stephanie's friend okay she's the one Stephanie introduced her to the group she's the one that went to that party um that Stephanie wasn't fucking invited to um Yvette went 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 with her to that party so anyway now y'all too that y'all know that Betty and Yvette didn't really get along but I guess at Nicole's like retirement party of her being a bottle girl um they you know became cool and stuff like that so they're sitting there talking now what are they talking about here let's see so Betty talks about you know of course everything she's going through with her sister you know being killed and how her mom is dealing with that um then she also talks about her father now y'all know that Betty's father was locked up for i believe like drug trafficking or something like that he went away for nine years he just recently got out but um because he legally wasn't allowed to be in the u.s he was shipped i don't want to say shipped deported to colombia so she said when she went to go see him the first time like when she went to go pick him up he didn't really recognize her and stuff and how he's institutionalized um she also said how her father does not know that her little sister is no longer here I don't know if she said that they're ever really planning on telling him that. Um, I think y'all should tell him that. I mean, that is his child. And I understand that, you know, he's like trying to process, you know, getting out of jail to the real life and stuff like that. But, and I know like y'all probably don't want your daddy to like go to war. Cause like, you know, that's what fathers is going to do. Somebody cut it out, they're going to go to war about it. But y'all probably should tell him that his daughter is no longer living. Just saying, just my opinion. Anyway. Um, she also talked about, Betty talked about how she bought him a house and, you know, she got him maids and stuff like that to help him, you know, get his stuff together. Um, she also talked about how she was kind of tired of living with her mom, even though she wants to be there for her, you know, with everything she's going through, she still needs her own place. So Yvette says she was looking for a place too. So they both decided Betty and Yvette, they're going to look for a place together. I don't know. I bet you next, next season, if they do live with each other, that's going to be a whole storyline. They ain't going to get along and that's not going to last very long. Anyway. Then we go to Marie and Kat, and they are at the beach. Now, I know they did this on purpose. Kat came out of the water like some straight Baywatch shit. She looked good as hell, as usual. Y'all know Kat is Bay for me. I love her. Um, so, Kat is telling her about the party that Diana had. And Marie is me when I said, that is the dumbest idea of all time for a party. You had a baby shower to introduce your boyfriend because he's young like that's just so fucking weird you could have just said hey here's my boyfriend so i agree anyway um so then cat talks about how eddie was at the party and um you know marie she was like what is like y'all not getting along or something like that and she was like no i mean we're fine she's like i just feel like he's intruding into like my world like i'm trying to move on from him and stuff and at the end of the day you guys were my friends first like you guys were my friends so i don't understand why he can't just move on and go into his own world versus like invading my world and being all up in my stuff um you know she like i told y'all last episode you could tell that cat is still hurt even with eddie moving on and everything she's still very hurt and she said that she's like you know i'm still in a lot of pain about what eddie did to me and it's kind of hard to see somebody constantly when you're trying to like move on get that got it um then marie talks about the prenup with her and michael and says how she understands why michael wants the prenup because he has a lot of abandonment issues from his mama to him losing all of them properties to you know michael has been through a lot in his life like his mama was 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 Griselda Blanca. Like, I'm pretty sure his life, he probably could make a whole movie about his life. Probably was intense. Was that a roach in there? Oh, I was about to get mad as hell. Um, 
and she said i don't i want to understand like why is it it's making me feel like he values money more than our relationship i don't think that's what he's saying about getting a prenup that's just in my opinion um like you said he has a lot of loss people walk out on him a lot people die a lot around him so i can understand him uh wanting a prenup that's just my opinion so anyway so then we move on we got nicole she gonna meet up with Allie. now i got in my notes she got her ass beat rightfully so i'm sorry i know a lot of people because i got a like like a decent amount of thumbs down on that video that i did but the point of the matter is i stand by what the fuck i said on that uh on that review i gotta go back and watch it because i honestly forgot everything i said but i stand on the fact that Allie deserved to get her ass beat because you don't walk around and just willy-nilly on national tv call people snitches without any type of proof rhyme or reason you just don't do it you don't do it so you got your ass beat because you deserve to get your ass beat because you was running your mouth about shit that you ain't know nothing about period you don't go around and do that shit that shit is not a game and that's what i was trying to say to y'all pe trying to explain to people on the last review that i did about this is that that shit's not a joke it's not a joke for you to be walking around and talking about oh her daddy is a snitch and that, that shit's not funny it's not fucking funny and it's nothing to even be trifled with because a lot of people they don't fucking play like that okay real consequences become is behind a lot of the shit that like comes out of people's mouths to be quite honest and you're on national tv doing it so nicole starts talking about you know how she blamed herself from you know having a miscarriage and stuff and ali is you know telling her it's not her fault which it is not um ali then talks about how her cousin was killed in philadelphia they shot him 39 count them 39 39 times and how he was allegedly allegedly he was set up or whatever and you know she talks about how you know everybody knows who did it but of course they're not saying anything because nobody wants to be a snitch and street code and all of this stuff like that and she was like you know but now being on the other side of it you know i mean that's somebody's family member and i would want to know too so after all of this i just feel like i should apologize to stephanie real shit you should have been been apologized to stephanie like i I'm not going to give her too much because I'm not going to give her too much because she did say that she was wrong and she accepted that. But I also don't like the fact that something tragic has to happen to you for you to understand the pain that you gave to somebody else. Like, I understand that that happens, but it kind of irks me because I don't understand how you can't just step back and see. Hmm. If you like I said, for somebody who claims that they're so, quote unquote, into this, quote unquote, lifestyle, I don't understand how you could then sit on national TV and make assumptions and talk about people like that. That's what that's more than anything for Ali. What wasn't adding up for me two seasons ago is the fact that you want to walk around and talk about how much your daddy is in a lifestyle and all these other people that you got is in the streets. But then you don't know the basic number rule, which is no snitching and nobody wants to be called a snitch like like that that that's something that's obvious you don't even have to be in the streets to fucking know that so yeah so that was that that's why she pissed me off during that time um but you know ali said that she was wrong for saying what she said about stephanie's dad thank you that, that's all i ask and not now moving forward like i could never like if this was like a real life thing i could never like be friend to ali but you want to know what i appreciate when somebody can come back and admit that they was wrong about something and they're actually willing to do the work to like make amends for it i can always appreciate that from somebody so ali i'm gonna give you your your tens on that i appreciate you acknowledging your wrongness because bitch you was absolutely wrong now in between we're going back on a conversation we're going back and forth between the conversation with nicole and ali and then stephanie and her mom now stephanie talks about how her father the whole time that she was in quarantine did not check up on her you know and i told y'all before like Stephanie is like clear she projects her daddy issues like so obviously like the way that she even like the way that she interacts with Eddie and why she has a problem with Eddie the way that she does and when it comes to Kat that all has to stem back that, that's her daddy issues coming out um but so yeah so she talked about that with her mom and she said that something aired on the show that hurt him and that's why and he hasn't talked to her since then now in my notes i have maybe he was upset with her because of the whole allegations about him snitching and it was on national tv now did stephanie say that no stephanie was actually whooping ass because ali went around and said that but i can understand i don't understand her father not talking to her because that doesn't really make sense to me but i can understand i guess him feeling some type of way about the whole situation 
I don't know, but her dad's weird as fuck, to be quite honest. Like, he's still weird, like, because she's not the one who said it. She actually acted like a donkey-ass fool trying to protect your name and your legacy or whatever the fuck it is. So why are you not talking to her? Don't understand. But okay, whatever. So, like I said, we go back to Nicole and Allie. And they, Nicole said how she's pretty much going to throw a self-care party so that Allie can apologize, you know, rightfully so, to Stephanie. So then we go to the so we go to Nicole's party. She's having it at Marie's house. Marie, I hate that wig. I know you was trying to give us like player clubs vibe. Hated, hated the wig. Hated the wig. Hated, hated the wig. So all the little girls get there. Okay, then Stephanie. I'm sorry, Betty and Yvette. They show up, but they show up together. Now Stephanie off top is like, that's weird. Like she says to um Cash, she was like, so when the fuck they become best friends? Like, that's 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 weird to me because. And at first, I was like, what the fuck is her problem? But I have to remember, because y'all have to remember, Cartel Crew has been off for a long time. Like, you know, before this season came out. So it was kind of hard for me to remember everything. But I forgot, Yvette and Nicole didn't even really like each other. So I'm pretty sure from Stephanie's point of view, it was like, the last time I seen you two bitches, y'all didn't even like each other. So how y'all best friends now? How y'all walking on a party together? Um... So, yeah, and she feels like I brought her with, I brought Yvette into this group. Like, I brought her on the show. Pretty much saying, I brought her on the show. So, how's it that that's my friend and I brought her on the show, but now all of a sudden, y'all two bitches is best friends. That's her problem. So, uh, Yvette and Stephanie, they end up, Stephanie's like, you know, I want to talk to you for a second, Yvette. So, they get up and they walk away. Now, Nicole is me because Nicole said amongst the girls, she was like, I 90% don't agree with Stephanie, but I 10% do. And I feel the same way. 90% in the sense of, girl, we're all grown as hell. Why why two people can't not get, a, why is it that two people who didn't get along can't fix it and become friends? That's like kiddish ass shit. But on the other end of the 10%, like Nicole said, I do agree in a sense of like, bitch, you're my friend. Like, I'm the one who brought you around all of these girls. And now, because Stephanie said she hadn't talked to Yvette, she's like, so it's weird that I brought you around. It's thundering, y'all. And she didn't talk like it doesn't make any sense i get it so that's why i agree to so yvette said pretty much that she when she was talking to stephanie she was like i will call you and stuff like that but you wouldn't pick up so i wasn't really sure what was going on and surprisingly surprisingly y'all stephanie apologizes she says she is sorry she said that she didn't mean it that way that maybe she was just being like you know not a great friend i said Woo. okay stephanie growth all of that growth right all of that growth just for a couple minutes later for it to all go out the window anyway so they go they sit down and i like the conversation that all the girls was having they was talking about because um nicole um confides in them about her miscarriage and about her grandfather passing away and about the her baby daddy putting his hands on her and all this other stuff so i liked that whole little conversation they had i thought it was a really deep conversation you know they all talked about how um you know with like i think stephanie talked about how you know her dad pretty much being locked up how it affected her life and how um betty wouldn't shouldn't you know wouldn't want that for her kid um cat talks about how she had to take De Niro to go and see you know eddie when he was in prison and stuff so they just pretty much all giving her advice like you know now mind you mind you stephanie goes on this whole little nice little rant and i don't mean a bad rant it was a good rant about how you know you need to let things go and you need to move on and you got to make the decision right now that i'm gonna heal and i'm gonna let it go and i'm not gonna carry this shit going forward Q in. That's why the, when she said that the, the producers in the back was like, Allie, walk, walk, walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. So Allie walks in. That stare that Stephanie gave Allie could have killed somebody on spot. It was, it, it was the look for me. So as soon as Stephanie sees Allie, she's like, nope, I'm out. So she gets up and she starts walking on. She's like, no, I'm not fucking doing this. I'm not filming with her. I'm not fucking filming with her. So Marie and Yvette. They go outside to, you know, follow uh, Stephanie because, of course, Stephanie's like snapping. Marie is me. Marie's like, stop yelling before they call the cops. Like, no, 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 no. They're going to call the cops. My neighbor's going to call the cops. Shut up up like marie was real heavy on bitch i don't want no cops here. me and marie were here on that because i don't want no cops around my crib either i don't give a fuck if it don't got nothing to do with me i don't want the cops around me i don't want the cops around my crib i don't want no part to that so you know while they're outside trying to calm stephanie down Allie's in the back explaining to the other girls you know she was like and she said the cash she was like you know i know you was part of that situation and i wanted to apologize now one thing I did say in my review that most people didn't pay attention to is this part. What I did agree with Allie, because Allie was like, I'm not apologizing for saying what I said to my best friend, which I agreed with. She said, I apologize for doing it on TV because I shouldn't have did it then. That was my issue. That was my issue with Allie. 
I didn't care about, I mean, you shouldn't be saying that type of stuff anyway, but fine. That's your best friend. Y'all gonna talk about whatever. But there was no purpose of her talking about that on TV with her best friend. That's where the issue for me, and I'm pretty sure everybody else came in. If you and Nicole are just on the phone, key, 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 and da, 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 who the fuck knows? Who cares? That's y'all conversation, y'all best friends. But you did it in front of the whole wide world. That's where the problem comes in at. So I'm glad that she understood that. So... She's also, so of course, Stephanie's outside losing her shit and stuff. And, you know, Marie's like, I need you to calm down. She's like, no, you want to know what? Y'all want me to act like an animal? Y'all want me to act like an animal? Bet that's what I'm going to do. So she goes back in the house or whatever. And at first, Marie thought that she was going to talk to her because at one point in time, Stephanie was like, no, 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 no. Let me say what I got to say. So Marie's like, no, let her go. Let her say what she got to say. She picks something up off of Marie's table and she gets to like the back door and she throws it. Now, it's like a glass type of bowl or something like that. So when she throws it, she throws it like, the girls are kind of like sitting like this but where she throws it it's like kind of like more towards like cat and diana and stuff like that but no matter but she threw it so again we're like bitch what the fuck is you throwing shit for look at the fuck is your problem and so diana of course is pissed off so she gets up and she comes like in the little hallway of the house you know in the little screen door she was like stephanie you just cut me like what is your problem like you just do some shit and that glass cut me and stephanie she was like what are you talking about she's like bitch you just cut me for no reason and i slowed it down please tell me if i'm wrong i think stephanie hit diana first i'm talking about when they like physically got into it up there i think it was stephanie who hit her first because i heard somebody else say like why is she attacking diana for so you know diana them two start scrapping it was like a real quick little little quick little scrap that they had so then they take her outside okay and cat mind you is still in the backyard so she's telling ali she's like look i'm about to go out front because i'm like cat go get your best friend go get your best friend because she's doing a fucking lot so cat tells ali she's like look just stay back here because what i don't want is for you to come back and you know out here and then like shit really hits the fan so like let me go get her so hold on y'all one second all right sorry about that y'all my laptop was on anyway so uh okay so after um diana and stephanie they kind of get into their little scuffle or whatever the case may be they take stephanie outside okay so stephanie is uh you know like snapping out so cat sorry that's what happened cat comes outside so cat is like it's cat and marie they're also talking to her and cat she was like what is wrong with you stephanie like why the hell did you throw the glass for it? and i think at this point because stephanie was like why are you coming at me when all of them else is coming at me that's the thing see the one thing i don't agree with about stephanie is stephanie is one of those type of people like who she feels like her friend or specifically cat in particular should always have her back regardless like she should never really be able to call her out when she's wrong she you should always just stick by whatever the fuck it is that she says or whatever and th that's i'm not saying that she that's how she really feels but that's how it comes off because for you to be like why are you coming at me when they all coming at me bitch we're all coming at you because you threw a, a fucking glass at us for no reason like when we had nothing to do with the whole situation so that's what uh marie and kat are telling her they're like it doesn't make any sense so um stephanie she's like i didn't want to act like that and then cash she was like so then why did you like why didn't you just walk away she's like i tried you didn't try to walk away because walking away would have been exactly what you did the first time which is you getting in your car telling everybody you want to know what not today not today i'm not in the mood let's try this another day or not the fuck at all getting in your car and pulling off not you going back into somebody else's house because that's the thing you're in somebody else's house if i was marie i would have beat stephanie's ass bitch you don't come over to my crib where i invited you and act a whole donkey ass fool because of whatever i get what happened but you could have just got your stuff and left and you didn't do that so um then diana comes outside or whatever and stephanie's like well what what you coming out here for diana like what's up what's up so um i don't know but they almost they get into a back and forth and diana calms down a little bit she was like stephanie all i was trying to say is that you cut me when you threw that piece of glass you cut me and she was like i didn't mean to cut you i didn't mean to okay you didn't mean to but you did so are you gonna apologize or not and so um they're going back and forth whatever and stephanie got all the smoke in the world for diana i really feel like as even though stephanie is like technically like taller and maybe a little bit bigger because diana's kind of a small girl i still feel like uh, diana will whoop stephanie's ass diana will drag the fuck out of stephanie that's just what i feel personally and truly so while all of that commotion is going on Nicole is in the back, of course, snapping the fuck out. And she's like, bitch, 
I don't understand. She acting like an ass on national TV. We always just, because Betty had a good point. Like, how we all just have that good-ass conversation and all of this happen? And Nicole's like, bitch, I invited my best friend. Period. It shouldn't be an issue. And this is the same. And like I said, people didn't listen to my review last time because I said in my last review, um, you know, when they got into that fight a couple seasons ago, that the part the part that i did not agree with stephanie on is how were you gonna get mad at nicole for inviting her best friend to the party that's her best friend her best friend how you gonna tell her she can't invite her fucking best friend i don't care if you got a problem well if you got that much of a problem then don't show up but if you're supposed to really be my friend then you should be able to be a grown-ass person and just you know go about your day or like i said just don't show the fuck up at all but i do agree uh Nicole shouldn't be like, oh, I'm not going to invite my best friend somewhere because, you know, it doesn't make any sense, especially in that situation where y'all was supposed to like be there for her. It wasn't even like, oh, let's party and turn up. It was a very like self-care. Let's all come together and kind of be there for each other, be there for Nicole because she's going through a lot. So, of course, she would want her best friend there. So, um, Yvette, you know, was trying to explain, you know, to Allie, because she was saying to um, Stephanie, first, she's like, I get it, like, I feel you. And she was trying to explain to them in the back, like, you really, what you said about her father wasn't cool, pretty much. It wasn't cool. So, um, then we have James, okay? James is the executive producer. This is how you know shit's getting real when executive producer got to come out. So he was like, look, Stephanie, this is all I wanted to tell you is that Allie, did, she did not come here on some rara energy. She came to apologize to you because she was wrong. So Stephanie's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So we go back to the backyard and Marie is talking to the girls and she pretty much explains it like this. She's like, look, the reason why Stephanie is as hurt as she is because she don't talk to her dad no more and she don't talk to her dad and, um, Nicole was like, because of her, she was like, yes, because of what she said on TV, her, Stephanie and her dad no longer communicate. And that's where her hurt come from. Because if maybe if you would have never opened up your mouth and said anything like that, maybe they would still have a relationship. So from that standpoint, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not saying that Stephanie doesn't have a right to be like what she said eventually, which is, bitch, I'll never fucking break bread with you. I get that, right? I get that. I understand that wholeheartedly but I do think that there's a time and a place for everything okay so we go back out to the front and James is like okay well you know like wh what do you feel like at the end of the day uh Stephanie Stephanie she was like she owes like my dad an apology because you can't be going out here calling people snitches like you know how serious that is it's not a game it's not a game to be calling nobody a snitch and she needs to apologize to my dad and so um she was like on television and so James is like okay so she needs to apologize to your dad right who is, she, who is she supposed to apologize to, Stephanie? I'm like, that's a good point. Like, if you want her to apologize and say sorry, then you got to let her apologize and say sorry versus, like, trying to run out. So, Stephanie was like, all right, you want to know what? I'll, I will never break bread with that bitch, and I'll never want to film with her, but I will hear her out. I'll hear her out. And he was like, all right, so what What I'm going to need you to do is stay right here at the car. Cat, I need you to stay at right here, and I'm going to go get Allie. So... He goes to go get Allie, and she was like, you want me to go to the car? He said, hell no. You going probably, he probably going to have her stand, like, right in, like, the little doorway, say her apology. And Kat's sitting there talking to Stephanie. She's like, you know I got your back. You know that, but, bitch, you know I'm fast. Like, I could tell Kat is kind of past, like, the whole jumping on people and stuff like that. She kind of passed that. I thought it was funny when it first happened a couple seasons ago because that whole fight to me was just classic, hilarious to me. But Kat is like, girl, let the girl apologize. Like, you could tell. Kat is just like, bitch, just let her apologize. And you ain't got to hang out with her, but let the girl apologize and let's just all move on. This was a hot-ass fucking mess of episode. Stephanie, you have lost your damn mind. Again, I understand the hurt because that's the thing. I don't want to take away from her validity of her feeling some type of way, Stephanie. Because, like I said, I went in and let half on Allie um, when this whole situation happened. So she should know that I stand with her about that. Um, and again, I get it, like, your relationship with your dad is kind of fucked up, you know, she said what she said about him, that wasn't cool, and she did on national TV, that wasn't cool, um, but I do feel like, um, there's a time and a place for everything, and that's not your house like that i think that i don't know maybe because like i'm really big on like respecting people's houses but that's my thing more than anything like that's not your house to be acting a fool like that that's marie's house and you came into somebody else's house and acted a fool that's not cool marie deserves an apology all of the other girls deserve an apology because like she said you threw glass and like i said like you cut us like what 
you gotta get it together stephanie understand you're emotional you got a lot going on but that shit gotta be controlled you can't just go around throwing shit because see you lucky you only got Allie. You going to do that to the right one, Stephanie, and that person's going to drag you, and it's probably going to be Diana. But you can't keep running up on people and thinking nothing's going to happen to you because you're going to get run up, and what they say, you're going to get done up. But again, all I have to say, I do understand her frustration. I do understand why she was pissed off. I do understand why she would say, fuck that bitch. I will never, ever, ever in life fucking break bread with that bitch a day in my life. But if you want an apology, if that's what you want, if you want an apology, then you have to get the apology. Like, you got to be willing to listen. Otherwise, you just say, I don't give a fuck about an apology. That bitch can kiss my ass from now until the end of time. You feel me? We'll see you next week, y'all. Get in the comments. I'm going to